Okay, guys, this is all about posing. So I've been struggling with posing a little bit and uh, found an easy way to create dynamic poses that you can use as starter poses instead of trying to manipulate all of the skeletons and bones. So let's go through it. Um, let's load up our avatar. I mean, there's no reason why this should be so hard, but it is. So I'm going to load Fifi up because she's our favorite. Hello, Fifi. Bonjour, Fifi. So the secret is add an animation. Once you add an animation, you can scrub the animation, which is what I'm going to do right now. And you can save any part of that animation when it's in a freeze frame as a pose. <clears throat> so, for instance, I'm stopping it. I'm scrubbing back and forth and I'm stopping it here. Do I like where her foot setting is? No, maybe it's a little bit too far back. So what are the next couple steps like? Oh, she's doing a little sachet in the front of the runway. So maybe I'll save that pose right there. How about that? It saves as a pose file. <clears throat> now, I often wondered, and I, as I was testing, I wondered if it would come in uh, at the same location, but it does not. So we'll show you that in a second. So, you know, get all the poses you can get, you know, crooked leg girl. Get all the poses you can get out of one simulation and then one animation. And then you can go back to that pose and move her joints ever so subtly because you want to move them, you know, to the point where there's not a lot of folding and bending of the skin. Um, I think that's something that they could work on a little bit better at Clo, but here's a little cheat for you to do that. So you got your hands on your hips. And you could just go ahead and save these poses, and I'll call them starter poses because you can just go ahead and um, manipulate them further. Once you get the body to some kind of point where you uh, can consider it a starting point or a final pose, it's up to you. But <clears throat> I say change the pose ahead of time with the poses that were given or the poses that come from the runway animation. And when you open it back up, it's dead center. So you can go ahead and start manipulating her arms to be a little bit, you know, see, this is what I'm trying to avoid. You could spend hours trying to make poses where it really should not be something that takes that long. The movements of the bones and in between the joints are just not working with the skin all the time. So I try to get it as close as I can to something that I like and then I go ahead and play around with it. And um, then I create my dynamic poses like that. So I consider it a cheat. You might not consider it a cheat or you might consider it a bad cheat. I don't know, but I do not wanna spend hours creating a garment time rendering, and then have to spend hours and hours on poses. Already spend time making uh, accessories and trims and closures. So you can move her head, you can move her arms, and then you can save that newly um, moved skeleton once you perfect it as another pose. And it's as simple as that. So sometimes when you move these avatars, the you know, the skin kind of gives it that awkward fold. So I'm going to show you how you can kind of get rid of that. Once you've saved the pose, um, it kind of snaps back into what it's supposed to be doing after you've been playing with it for a little while, once you save the pose. So you see how I have a crease in her elbow? That's pretty significant. So when I decide that I want to go ahead and save this pose, and then I want to switch to another pose, the crease is still there, which is annoying. So the crease is still there. So how can I get rid of this crease? 
So my little mind went on a bender, not to be funny. <laughs> and I just pulled in the regular avatar and then reposted, reapplied the post file. And the bend is gone and her bones are in the right place. So there's no more bend anymore. And I think this is just a good way for you to kind of get some dynamic poses to um, make your renders. You can put her foot down. You can put her foot forward, bend her hip a little bit. But you don't have to do like the whole body, which can be a little daunting is what I'm trying to say. So this is the cheat. And then once you um, have everything the way that you want it, let's look at applying a garment. <clears throat> so I put on a dress and I'm going to try out some of these poses. Great. Now her foot's a little far up. So let's do another pose. This is a slouchy girl pose. Slouchy, grungy girl. And another pose, a demure pose. Now what I've noticed is, is this is a simple garment. So be prepared okay this is what's happening with just a simple dress okay be prepared not to make a whole bunch of different poses because once you have the pose that you want you may have to redrape some parts of your garment around the new pose and remember you can move the bones you can move the clothes you can tuck them in. Always give a little bit of room between the hands and the body for that garment to um, simulate. And there you have it. So play around with it, but I suggest you kind of already know what pose you're going into. And a good tip is to start with a subtle pose. So if you can transition from your T pose to another pose to your final pose, and you could limit the movements of the garment in between poses, you'll probably get a better simulation at the end of the last pose. So I would say baby step your poses <clears throat> until you get something like this. I mean, if this was a blouse with a lot of buttons and doodads hanging off of it, I would be highly frustrated. So this is Clo 5.2.268. And they just updated it. So this is the latest version. And I haven't really seen this kind of a reaction from the garment and the body in these poses. So um, <clears throat> I'm curious to see if that's a bug or not. And I guess there will be another update if there is. Hey, slouchy girl. I like slouchy girl. I don't know why. So there are also... Um, you know, you can go ahead and try out all of your poses simply and kind of maybe keep a catalog of your poses. Or, you know, you can see the thumbnails there. Try to name them. Right now, I just named them custom pose, test pose, one, two, three. But you can actually go in and name them uh, hands folded, uh, backward view. You can go ahead and name them hands on hip. You can name it um, <clears throat> one hand up, one hand down. You can give it dynamic naming. So you can identify it easily when you're in the file folder. But yeah, so I thought you might like that. This is a tip in 10 minutes. And, uh, you know, I like doing this and I like helping people. I like to hear the stories of how you start and, you know, how these videos have helped, uh, helped you get a little bit better. I hope that someone said that I'll, I yell at the, I yelled at the end of one of my videos, which is so funny because I never know how loud the microphone is. I don't know how to whisper when I'm doing video recording. Like, can you hear me if I talk like this? There was one video I said like and subscribe, and I said it a little bit too loud. I said it in my enthusiastic voice. So be ready to manipulate your garment when you're making these poses and um, <clears throat> try not to get frustrated. But yes, like and subscribe um, and tell me a story about how you're doing with Clo 3D or with 3D in general, um, whether you're using OptiText or Browseware. Those videos are coming soon. It just, I spend so much time. Um, so I changed the size right here. 
And this is a good reason to do GPU simulation when you get this kind of an error in your garment. <coughs> hey, it's the maternity girl. So I did this to see what would happen if I changed the size in the pose. So what you have to realize is that sometimes you, the hands need to be as far away as possible, or you might have to move the hands if you change the size of your garment while it's in a pose, if that makes sense. Why would you do that? I don't know. I think I was in testing mode and the bright idea came to me to throw a maternity body in there. So as you can see, of course, that's not a maternity size dress. Maybe I'll fix it. Maybe I won't. But you might have to move some of the joints in order to accommodate the pose to make it look uh, more natural and less interference with the garment. Again, GPU simulation is on. And yeah, so you have to be able to um, be ready to maneuver. So if you have a lot of pieces and stuff, you might have to redrape. You might have to just pull it away from the body and get it that way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I digress. I'm going to do a video all about this maternity body. I don't know how I feel. I don't know anyone whose maternity stomach is shaped like that. Sometimes <clears throat> the measurement is not reality. But I get it. It's just the it's just the size avatar. So I'm gonna compare the maternity from Alvanon and the maternity uh, with Clo for you guys. But that's it, and that's over ten minutes. But I'll say bye bye.